Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a free code camp tutorial on basic JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to declare JavaScript variables. So when we think of variables, we can think of it in math, in algebra, like how we have x variables equals 3 plus 7, for example. And we can do that the same thing with computers and programming. But the computer science, in computer science, we use the variables to store data. And data is just anything that is meaningful to the computer. There's eight different types, undefined, null, boolean, string, symbol, big int, number, and objects in JavaScript. And we're gonna learn more about it throughout the course. And here's just one quick example between the difference. And we're gonna learn more about the difference later on, but the numbers 12 and the string 12. The number 12, you can perform mathematical operations such as plus, minus, multiplication, division. But the string 12 just represents the character of it and you can't perform mathematical operations. And why do we even have variables in the first place? We use it as a way so we can store and manipulate data more effectively. So we don't have to have so much different information and lines of code. And to do, to get started with declaring variables, using variables in JavaScript, is that we first have to declare a variable. And then to do that, we have to use the keyword var, which signifies that what's next is gonna be the name of the variable. And then you write whatever name you want your variable to be. And in JavaScript, we can make up the names with numbers, letters, dollar, or underscore. The limitations of it is that they can't contain spaces or start with numbers. And they can't also be a keyword as well. And also in JavaScript, we end statements with a semicolon. So this signifies like how we end sentences in per with period we end complete lines of code with a semicolon. And for this exercise, we want to use the keyword var to create a variable called my name. So to do this, we'd use the keyword var, which signifies that the next word will be named the variable and it's gonna be my name. And we end it with a semicolon. And that'll be it for this one. Thank you so much.